But our final one for the week, if you it's don't not- care for the Netflix family drama, maybe you care for the Hulu family drama that takes it up yeah. uh, to another level. Zach caught this one at TIFF and said, yo, you have to catch this movie. It's really good. We tried reaching out for it because at Sundance a year prior, it was one of our favorite shorts. And the short, which is out online, I will try to link it, is still one of the right best now. shorts and is fantastic. Pause this video. Go catch it. Then go watch Bruiser. Yeah. I don't know if I like it more than the short, which really speaks a lot to the short, Zach. I think the short, Mm -hmm. it it changes it in order to make it a feature. Obviously, it has to elongate it. There's a lot of uh, uh, patient shots in the movie. Beautiful shots, don't get me wrong. Um, But there's something about the short, especially in those encounters of violence that are so visceral. I prefer it a little bit more to the movie. But what he's able to do with the movie and and extending it, I, I think was still very interesting. Yeah, I think the shorts, uh, the shorts very good in a way because there's so much implied by it, right? Like because you don't have as much runway to tell what your story is about specifically, it speaks more to like a generation of people and an idea. And and it's an idea that I don't feel like we've seen articulated as much. When you expand upon that idea, it starts to feel a little bit more like something that's maybe familiar. And granted, I don't think that makes the movie uninteresting, particularly because there are really fantastic performances in this one. Uh, I wanted All to around. shout out uh, our boy... Uh, J- what is it, Jalen Webb? Is it? Uh, yeah, dude. Was just previously enough, in, decent. He was previously in Armageddon time. I told you he had a Jalen Hall. That is, uh, I told you he had another one around the corner. He's very, very good in this one. Uh, but the real star of the show Tell is Trevante too, Rhodes, uh, who I think Trevante hasn't been better. Uh, or hasn't been this good at least since Moonlight. Just a really uh, fantastic, beautiful, textured performance of a man who's carrying the weight of his wa- past on his shoulders, trying to both be better than he was, but also uh, not immune to the the things that triggered him before. I think it's a really interesting look at you know the the ways in which. Men can often feel trapped by their masculinity and basically the consequences on that generally, generationally speaking, right? Um, Not to mention, as as you pointed out, it is a beautiful looking film. Miles Warren, you know, I thought the short looked gorgeous as well, but he really gets more to work with here. I think the color scheme is so beautiful and like so textured and there's just a few shots that, that still, still resonate with me. I still think about them. Yep. Uh, I mean, I thought about what he did with the short is crazy. Like you, you give him more, uh, praise in that one. Cause you wonder like, yo, how did you put the short together? I thought he adapted the feature very, uh, very well. And I agree with you looking back at, uh, Travante, he needs good scripts, dude. Cause it's not like he doesn't put the effort in. Mm-hmm. I, I watched the, the one he did for Hulu for uh, Tyson, right? Um, The writing just wasn't there. And if you're able to give him something that takes the time, like you said with Moonlight, a a script that's patient, this is a very patient script. You allow him to develop it as a character. And I agree 100% with what you said. The dichotomy between him and the father and and those moments of violence and what you're observing, what you're leaving behind. (sighs) Bruiser's really good. I I, I like both of them. I think you get different aspects from both the short and the feature. And I would highly recommend them. Bruiser would definitely you like... be for a, for a show called uh, Must Watch. That is our one must watch for the week. Absolutely. The, yeah, it's the must watch for sure. Did you like the way in which the short, uh, sorry, the feature used elements from the short, but kind of exp- like it, it didn't make them, it didn't make the end the same as the end. I thought it was able to sort of like recontextualize moments from the short really interestingly. Yeah. Or take yeah. them in a different way because there is uh, yes. several scenes that they share, like the the weight training scene. You know, just leave it yes. at that. In the short, ends completely different completely than in the movie. But it's like a, a Schrodinger's thing where it's like, nah, but that was completely a viable option for it to have also gone that way. And that's why I'm saying there's almost like a really beautiful story happening and watching alternatives of what yeah. could have happened in the story. I, I like it. I like it. Miles, you are on the radar for the Intercut podcast. And for Absolutely. this week, you are the 
only one I give the leaving the theater for because my TV, you know, I love my TV, but damn Hulu kept glitching on me sometimes and I needed to see every crystal clear version of this uh, movie. And if I was watching it in the theater, I would have gotten that. Uh, I think he shot it on film. If I'm not mistaken, if he didn't, Looks like it. Yo! Uh, yeah. I 100% would have recommended this at bare minimum as a matinee at a music box at an IFC center to really get uh, how well he shot this story. Uh, Bruiser, the one that I say, leave your house for this week. Yeah, so shout out to the cinematographer as well, Justin Derry, since we're shouting out so much of that look of the film. And one more shout out to they the cast. The I thought Shamir... Uh, he did the short as well. And then one more shout out to the cast. I thought Shamir Anderson, who played uh, the father in the film, had a lot of scenes of opposite Trevante as well. Nah, excellent, bro. excellent we, actor. We were actually you know, disrespectful he, not mentioning him earlier. He uh, he almost yeah. sometimes overdid Trevante. We just yeah. know Trevante like that, but the, his, he had this rage behind those glasses. His glasses were beautiful, Oof. those gold frames. But there was some looks he was given behind those frames. And because it's a boxed-in ratio, you getting close on his face. Thank you. Thank you for mentioning that. And let me let me, let me me pull up the uh, cinematographer right here. Yo, okay. Minor Premise was another beautifully shot one as well. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha, I gotcha. I that one Okay. Out. Yeah, kind of so crazy yeah, story, but definitely I mean, the uh, very beautiful one. The best movie I've seen in the past week or so.